actionfigureresource.com. Yesterday's Toys, Today's Treasures. Okay, this is a review of the DC Collectibles animated series Batman. This is from Wave 1, released back in 2015. And it's based on the new Batman Adventures look, which was uh, more clean, slightly more modern, if you bear in mind that the original animated series has a sort of a dark deco, sort of 1940s look to it. These ones, while still retaining that flavour, were sharper and more vibrant. And straight out the gate, this figure is super impressive. This is... This guy made me want to buy a whole bunch more figures, and I did as a result of getting this one. Uh, he is poseable all over. He's got ball-jointed shoulders and swiveling hinged elbows, a bunch of removable hands, each one of which is hinged, a split-cut swiveling waist. He's got these double-hinged hips, which basically allow for his legs to go out to the side and to the front which makes it instantly a lot more mobile than the uh, Justice League figures that came out in the early 2000s, which this is a larger version of. Hinged and socketed knees, and hinged and socketed ankles as well. So you can turn his feet every which way. And his head, which comes off, has a peg inside that allows you to attach two different types of cape. Head's a little difficult to pull off, and obviously, as with all removable heads, just like super care and attention to, uh, to, to not crushing the features or ruining the peg. And the two capes you get, one of them is more enclosed over the shoulders to allow him to sort of stand there at the ready looking super intimidating and the other of them is swept back from the shoulders to give him more freedom of arm movement. And both of them are replicating major looks from the TV show. Both capes are made of this sort of uh, vinyl-y rubber which hangs from him in just the right way and feels different enough to... If this was just stiff plastic, it would feel like a really immobile figure. But there's a fluidity to this rubber. And the sculpt is something else. It's a very simple character to bring out from the screen, but they appear to have wanted to do that just that, just to, to bring out into 3D a previously 2D, very stylized version of Batman. I love how clean and mean his face is and that, you know, glowering those eyes spot on and the ears exactly right and this was a really tough call for me because i really wanted the animated series batman as well i might i might get them both who am i kidding there are enough distinctions and ways that they are different quite aside from the fact that you're effectively buying a working model of the best batman out there if you're a major major fan of the animated series and sort of this is your go-to batman like me He's sort of okay with standing on his own, as long as you don't pose him in any unusual ways. But for any variation on that, you're gonna need this little figure stand that they've included, and uh, it's it's a really nice touch that they put this in there. I mean, quite apart from the fact that a lot of these characters and figures just aren't gonna stand on their own. Incredibly spindly legs and Dorito-shaped bodies. And I do like the little artwork detail on the uh, base. A, it personalizes the base to that character, and B, it makes it feel like this is a little maquette that the uh, animators at Warner Brothers would have had to help them with their drawing. Batman has a grand total of nine hands, that's two that he comes with and seven additional ones, one of which is clutching a grapnel gun, but you also get a separate grapnel gun as well, so you can just hold it rather than aim it with one of his other hands, and you get a little batarang as well. So really they covered all their bases, and for a a $20 figure, which is what this is, they've really done a fantastic job. It's pretty much everything you could want in a basic Batman. Issues that I had, there was a little bit of flaking around the plastic on the hinge on his left arm, and that had to be trimmed away slightly. Um, other issues, the seam, and I've had, I have this problem with a couple of other figures on, in this line as well, the seam on his legs going up the side of the thigh on the outside of the leg, when I strain on the knee, and when I say strain, I just mean bending him at the knee, it begins to pull that seam apart, which makes me worry about the integrity of his upper legs. It's possible they could be glued if they start to come unstuck, but I don't really like getting glue mixed up with super articulated figures like this. However, these are only minor quibbles, and I can't actually take away any points since nothing's actually broken yet. It's all just... My usual suspicions that something might break. And it's a nice, weighty, smooth plastic, and it's it's fun to fiddle around with, especially if you're talking on the phone. 
and it looks impressive on your shelf. So yeah, I'm giving this one a 10 out of 10. For what you pay, for what you get, it's nigh on perfect. ActionFigureResource.com Yesterday's Toys, Today's Treasures.